testing. Get everyone, the Asian dad here. Sorry, I've had a little bit of technical difficulties with this YouTube trying to stream and I've also got a few streaming um, contents at the moment trying to make it work to, and also trying a lapel mic. Hopefully get some better audio. Now I do have my screen chat on my left, so if you do see me peer to the left, it just means I'm just crashing into see if there's any chats going. And I'm actually trying to see if I can get the live stream going a little bit better each time and hopefully we'll get a better experience for you guys anyway. Now it's just a matter of just hanging out with you guys for a few minutes as well, my time of life. And we'll also have a look at this computer here. Now this is the Dell Latitude 7410. Now I have done a review on this one here. Now this is a Chromebook version and it is a two-in-one as well too. So I thought I might just bring this out just so you guys can have a look at it. Uh, Dell has actually sent this to me because I was very curious about a Chromebook. I've never played with Chromebooks. This is my very first Chromebook to have a play with and I was just having a play with the software and I just did not know what I was going to have. I was going to review this and I thought I might just do this as a live stream just so you guys can have a look at what this Chromebook is. Uh, so I'm just going to say hi to all the people who have joined me. If you did, uh, I am reading the chat. It's on the left. Uh, there is a little bit of delay, so I will bear that in mind. I'm trying to get the, the delay a little bit less, uh, but I think it's more to do with my connection of the internet. And here, unfortunately, in, in Australia, the NBN is not great. I have tried to upgrade my plans. And it's just what it is at the moment. I've gone through about two RSPs, yeah? and it still hasn't been fantastic at all anyway. But we're looking at more options anyway, so we'll see what we can do. But yes, I will still continue trying to get better live stream for you. And as you can see, it's festive this season here. So I have uh, already been on my leave and it started the holidays, but unfortunately, as I went on leave, I actually did fell sick. And so just I've been trying to recover for the last four or five days and I'm mostly better now these days, which is good, so I can actually do this live stream, but I am still sweating because it's actually quite hot here. I've got the aircon finally gone and running around, but it's still very hot anyway. So how are you guys doing? I know at here I've seen um, uh, Go Splat. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's still around. He was in Sydney and he came in a little bit an hour early, uh, but it would be quite late for him right now if he's going to return to work tomorrow. Uh, if you're still up, G'day, comes back, and I'm very sorry that our borders are at the moment closed down. Uh, it's a bit of a sad thing that COVID kind of hit us, and especially at this sort of Christmas time where it'd be nice just to travel between the borders to see our family and friends and just to see in the interstate, but uh, it happens anyway, so yes. Um, I'd love to hear what if the audio is coming through, or is it too quiet? If it is, I might have to readjust the audio to see if it's getting a little bit better, so definitely. And I don't remember Ari was in there, so... Hello to Ariel, back to you. But yes, how are you guys going? I'm definitely love to hear from you guys for reading the chat. Um, not much happening in my life. Uh, at the moment, there is a lot of computers still coming at me. Uh, I've got more computers coming at me than I have time to edit. Uh, that is my problem. So at the moment, I might actually, just in this holiday period, I am just going to, probably for the next week or so, you will just see me fly out these little small videos, uh, which are more in terms of just because I can spit them out very quickly with uh, video editing because they only take about probably about three to five hours of my life rather than the two days that each for each laptop review. Just the video editing process unfortunately takes me about two days worth of days. Well, truthfully, it's around about nine to ten hours, which is about nearly two days because I have to split it up because I get too tired. Uh, but yes. Uh, g'day, Ariel. Let's just show us your smartphone. The smartphone at the moment, Ariel, is actually sitting on this gimbal because I've actually got it running as one of my speeds. Um, so I'll just show you that so you can actually see this because I've got it running. My, my friend showed me how to do this and it's actually quite cool. So have a look at that. So um, this is running directly from the phone. Um, so you can, so this is for later on so you can actually see how that goes. Um, so this is the Latitude 7410 if you haven't seen, but this is the Chromebook. So I'll slowly introduce that uh, into it though, but the phone is running fantastic. Uh, so it's kind of cool that I've actually got this going. Uh, so, I'll, and I've got a few feeds running through so I can switch between the two feeds. Hence why this is just on the side here anyway. So definitely nice to see. Oh, do I just, sorry, I'll just go through that to there. Awesome. But yes, um, I've got uh, all, uh, all one uh, on the side here. 
I need to do a review of as well. A Dell Latitude, uh, sorry, the Dell uh, the 2470 or one. So I've got that to review. Uh, I've also got, uh, interesting enough, this is another one. Oh, sorry, just getting off the screen here. This is, um, sorry, I'm just going to play with my microphone as it's getting quite hot. Um, is another Fujitsu. Now, this is an interesting Fujitsu as well. Uh, and this one here is a two, one of those two ones, but it's actually a twist um, screen. You don't see these often much these days. So that's a very interesting one. And then it's a tablet. And then, of course, there's a nice little stylus. Where is the stylus here? Stylus. And then you can just draw around. I don't see these two ones. This is the old style two ones. I don't see them often very much. Uh, I actually like these ones uh, because you don't have an annoying keyboard uh, when this is flipped into one. Sorry, so I'm not just going to try and way find this is where this one is. So I'll do this slowly. I'll do a review for this one as well. Um, this is a very interesting one here from Fujitsu. As you can see, I'm starting to do a little bit of Fujitsu because that's a quite interesting brand. Oh, yep. Uh, I've also got uh, the new Dell XPS 13. Uh, I've actually filmed that already, so I've just got to do the video editing for that. Now that has the also the Intel Evo, just like the MSI, I just pulled it out. Uh, so it has the 11th gen in there and it's actually one of those, again, surprising laptops as well. Uh, I also got, if you see, haven't seen my previous video, I actually have the XPS 15 as well. Yes, I finally brought in a XPS 15. Uh, so I've got that to do, uh, which is on the way. And of course, all the other previous videos, I've still got a lot of laptops to video edit, uh, so lots of things. How the performance of the 11th gen Intel XPS? So I have found it is quite good. Uh, it is definitely a jump, a little bit of a jump in terms of just processing from the 10th gen. Uh, the graphics is a massive jump uh, and that's where it really comes into play is if you're doing it for gaming, um, like I tested it in computing, a little bit of gaming and it is actually gets pretty decent compared to like your good old basic discrete graphics uh, it's can get close to like a little bit of a mid-range graphics uh, it wouldn't like i said it doesn't get to like the 1650 uh, sorry the gtx 1650 from geforce so it's not at that level uh, but it is getting closer to probably at the quadro p 1000 getting close to there sometime, not even getting there, but not bad at all. Now the XPS 15 is still the 10th gen Intel, uh, and that one there isn't the 11th gen Intel yet. I think they have a, I think they're looking at refreshing that sometime, probably a little bit later in next year. Uh, so it's not straight away now, uh, which is a bit of a surprise because I think they would have brought that out in the 15 before the 13, but they did the opposite. Uh, but then again, it's all about the integrated graphics, whereas the 15-inch XPS is using a discrete graphics, so it doesn't really use the RS as much. Uh, so yes, uh, I'm let's have a look at this. I'm trying to get into totally Samsung ecosystem. Yeah, it's, I'm trying to my best as well. Uh, I've had a bit of time trying to get this watch uh, to go play nicely lately. Uh, definitely the Samsung pay isn't as nice as the apple pay i've definitely found that out and i think i've now just gone back to always using my phone to pay for most things the tap and pay that is um, and also with the watch it's a bit limiting in terms of can't really install apps uh, so i've found that's now it's starting to annoy me a little bit so i'm really using it more like a watch and notifications uh, so back to what i usually use with apple watch anyway so i can't really do more than that there now as for the love Buds Live, uh, which I have, which is upstairs, unfortunately. Um, that one there is, it still has very great sound and I've now started pairing different devices to it. But it'd be nice if I had a little button that I can just switch between the different devices. Unfortunately, it doesn't, you've got to do it in software wise, tell it to uh, switch between the different devices, uh, like the Windows devices. Uh, but if it's between uh, the watch and the phone, that's fine because it's on the same Samsung account. Uh, so that one's all fine, well and doing. Uh, but the phone has been fantastic. I've got to admit, that has been great. I'm loving the phone. Uh, I don't have too much quirks about the phone. It's more about the other stuff, uh, like the wearables uh, is probably where I found anyway. So, yes. Uh, but yeah, 
Um, how is your Samsung going there, Ariel? Hopefully I'll, yeah, I'd love to hear about that. But while you get through to typing, I will just slowly get through to this little dude here, which is the Latitude 7410. Now, this 7410 is, as you saw before, is a 2-in-1. Uh, I don't have a pen with me, but it does support pen support. Now, this was brought to me, I think this one is a few hundred dollars cheaper than the normal Latitude 7410. Now, it does come with Chrome OS, uh, and that's what's really kind of also it's a good thing and also a limiting thing and this is where I was trying to work out how I was going to do a review for it because truthfully I can't really push this laptop to its max uh, because of the Chrome OS I can't install some of the benchmarks I know you can do it with some mobile phone apps but that's really a mobile tablet sort of thing and this is still kind of like a laptop tablet uh, so not really pushing these things out to the Mac. So I've installed a game or two on this computer here just to try and bring up some heat on this computer here. But uh, it, like I'm going to tell you flat out, it doesn't get hot because quite simply it's running these mobile games uh, for Android iOS, uh, sorry, Android uh, tablets and mobile phones and it's got a Core i5 in here. So that's pretty powerful already for these games. Uh, so it's not really pushing this thing to its max. And so when I was playing a game, which was, uh, was Asphalt 9, uh, which was around here, uh, I was playing that one there. Um, and also I was trying out another one, which was, what was it called, Citric? So I was benchmarking, I was just benchmarking it as well, running this thing hot as I could get. And I did measure through my thermal camera, but really I don't think I need, really need to. You can just touch it. It pretty much was around about 38 degrees Celsius at its hottest point uh, at its usual area, which is near the center of the keyboard here. Uh, so sorry, it's good with the volumes are coming down here. That was just me playing it. It was actually quite nice because you can still use the phone or you can use the keyboard. So that's kind of good, but really I think it's a bit of a waste of a, of a, a laptop uh, in terms of your plan, trying to play games on this thing here. You probably want to play some more better games than just whatever you can buy on your, on your Android tablets or mobile phones anyway. So that is the advantage, but probably even more useful if you've got app development for it, where you can actually have a bigger screen. I think that's more useful where this comes in play. Uh, this does have a few buttons that I've noticed um, that's different to your usual Latitude 7410 Windows Edition. Um, so I'll show that to you. I was just wondering to resist this. Yeah, Chrome OS has some advantages and disadvantages. Yeah, uh, it is quick, I gotta tell you, but it's pretty basic. Uh, I'm, I'm very new to still Android, so I was just using this as if it was a mobile phone, really. I had play with the OS, and it's a, a bit of a different one for sure. Uh, but to me, it was kind of like a very cut-down version of um, Ubuntu with even less power than Ubuntu. I don't know. Uh, I've, I've got to get someone to teach me. I've got to have to spend some time on YouTube to even just learn Chrome OS in a way. But I think uh, Chrome OS is it's a... I think you can probably re-image this computer or even throw on a Windows onto this so you can get this thing for cheap and then just buy a very cheap version of Windows um, and then throw it onto this and you'll save a bit of money from that uh, that's what I'm thinking you can do was what this is really good for but I'll show you some of the key differences uh, and it's really to do with the keyboard than anything else like the physical things it's all the same like everything here all the ports are the same as the 7410 so I'm not going to go through that because I've got a review for video for that but it's actually the keys and that's the only thing that's different for this here but it's got a very nice premium build to it so it's got a brush and a medium all the way through um, from the even for the palm rest uh, from the top cover as well and from the side you actually get some very nice brush I mean uh, but the bottom of course is still you know the plastic uh, as always yeah so I'll just quickly show you uh, the keyboard here so and it's backlit as well so I'm going to use this one here so this will be much nicer to make it through so I'm hoping this um, video will come through nicely if it's a bit blurry I'm sorry I'll just try and Will it come, is that too blurry for you guys? If it is, I'll, I'll try and change it to my webcam, which will hope maybe give you a bit of better. Jerky, everything is uploaded, everything. Wig, wig, everything uploaded, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's blurry, is it? Uh, is, it is that blurry there? The, can you see the keys at all? 
I think it might be, yep, I will just try and go with the other one. So give me a second here. All right, let's try and bring this one go through here. So I've got another one here. Let's try and get the webcam. Uh, is that, that's a lot better. Oh yeah, that's hopefully a lot better anyway. So I'll show you some of the differences here I can see from the keyboard here. So first off, you got the back button here. Uh, this is probably for, let's exit this game. Yes, exit the game. And this is probably for the more for the browser. Refresh, uh, this one pretty much is full screen. Right up here is full screening this um, here. I'll just kind of show you here. Uh, and then this one here is kind of like a, the in Mac, what I call it, mission control. It's exact same like mission control. And Windows is pretty much is uh, application uh, scroll as well. Uh, then you got your usual buttons here for you know brightness and then uh, uh, volume. And then there's no buttons over here. And then this is probably for docking, not undocking away. So that's what are they? So the other thing is is that underneath where we usually see the cap lock key is. That is this little button here. I don't even know what it's called. Uh, probably Google Assistant um, is probably what it, that, that just fires that up. Um, and then also this where I usually get the Windows key here uh, is the, uh, this one actually changes the different languages, uh, that key there. So it changes from, at the moment, you'll see from here, at the moment set to Great Britain. Uh, and then if I press this, it goes to US. So it changes the, the different keyboards or if i guess if you got emojis keyboard that will switch to the, uh, sorry that button there i'll just try and give this a little i'm trying to give this a little less me there we go that hopefully will stop it from jerking so much in a way so uh so i'm just going everything button is that what it is everything button yeah that could be an everything button that does sound like an everything button there um mr dojo uh, but yeah, that was a, probably a keyboard, um, the different keyboards there or different languages uh, down here. And then you'll see over down, where was the other button here? Uh, I saw a very interesting button that I saw as well that came up. Uh, and I think that was the common key. Was it? I was like trying to find something and I was like, that's not where it normally is. Uh, the control, oh, that's it. The control key. There's a simple control key right here. Um, so that's pretty interesting. So where am I from? I'm actually from uh, Australia. I'm in Brisbane, Australia is where I'm new I'm from. I'm born and bred there, so <laughs> that's I've been here most of the time way through. And um, g'day Vanessi, how are you? Uh, but yeah, that's yeah, it's got the that's what I see is a very interesting keyboard as you can see. It's got this very nice brush sort of thing uh, and. It is, uh, as there's a nice big logo called Chrome here, and that's about it. Uh, everything else of this computer is the same. Uh, so yeah, it's all the exact same as a Latitude 7400. So the key, the, the actual software is where the main difference is, and it purely runs off your Android Play Store, uh, Google Play Store. So. That's all I could really install was just the Google Play Store, install whatever apps it is, so which is the exact same as what your mobile phone and your little Android tablets. Um, sorry, I'm just losing the thing here. But yeah, that's really all it is. So it doesn't really run this thing very, very hard at all, is what I'm saying. But it's a very premium product for uh, OS for this. So like I said, you probably can get this because this is cheaper without the Windows OS. So if you've got your own retail version of Windows uh, 10 you pro you can get them from some websites um, but you can get them for cheap and you can probably save yourself a few hundred dollars from just getting this version compared to that. but you do have this really weird funky keyboard and I have not tried to actually load Windows onto this because I do have to give this one back to Dell anyway so I do thank Dell for actually lending me this one just for me to have a look at I was really curious about this and I was like oh, it's nice and but uh, but yeah definitely look at the price of this uh, in your country. Now this is a tool one as well too. I don't know, I think they don't make a non tool one. I think it all comes with tool one. So it's it's a really nice computer. Uh, but if you can actually remove this can make it to Windows and just bar the keyboards and way. So yeah, hopefully it's okay. He is in Australia, doesn't exist <laughs> uh, Australia doesn't exist. <laughs> I know. Well sometimes some people don't think we exist, but that's all right. We're just always 
down by ourselves, isolated, and that's kind of how we are with the whole COVID thing as well. We're probably isolated from the rest of the entire world anyway, so yes. Uh, we, we do get recorded from a different planet. Uh, we do run a little bit slower than everyone else as well too. Uh, do you like Chrome OS because the devices are free, cheapish? Oh, that's good. Yeah, they are. And I think I've seen a few from over here in Australia. We've got a few um, computer shops. Uh, JFA's JB Hi-Fi is one of the ones that we use a lot. Uh, well, not for my company, but uh, we there is for consumer-wise, it's actually quite decent, I know. And uh, Officeworks as well, if you find them as well. And I have found some really good, nice hardware, cheap hardware for the Chrome OS. Uh, unfortunately, this one here is probably a little bit on the high end compared to a lot of the other Chrome OS laptops I've seen. But this one feels way more premium for sure. Uh, and I think this hardware is a little bit more harder than, like a little bit more powerful than what you'll need for Chrome OS, uh, definitely. But you probably will need, you'll probably only need like an i3 for this. Uh, and I think this one's even had 16 gigs of RAM, which is a little bit more of an overkill for uh, Chrome OS is what I think anyway. So yeah, but I, I, this is my first play with Chrome OS and I mean, I like Android. I found the Office Suite as well too. So it's nice that you can still do your productivity work um, and things like that, but if you're using a little bit more of their specialized sort of softwares that do run Windows, then you have to love Windows. And prob you can probably virtualize Windows into this as well too. So it's got all the, the gear for it. You can got, you've still got virtualization that you've got V as well too. So that's kind of nice there. Uh, is there Intel branded bottle in the back? Yeah, there is actually. There are actually two. Uh, Intel has very nicely, kindly given me some just I'm just trying to add some more things to it. I've got people sending more stuff into, so I'm just gearing the background up as you can see. Hopefully, I know this was something that you really dearly loved, and I was like, oh, that's probably a good suggestion. I do need to make it out, and I am slowly this year and next year. Uh, we'll slowly gear this empty shelves up a little bit more. I do have some friends getting me some plants as well, so that's the idea for trying to get some more plants there as well too, so yeah. So I'm actually looking down here because uh, for those just joining, I could have a monitor here, which is I'm looking at this chat here at the moment. So, yeah, uh, it's for overkill for, yeah, it is a bit of overkill. For, I do think it's overkill for, but it's a great computer uh, and it's got very good hardware for it. It's just like the normal 7410. Uh, this is, uh, like I said, probably a good guy. But enough chat about this. Unless you've got a question about this Latitude 7410 Chrome OS, uh, yeah, definitely still fruit, shoot fruit. Uh, any other questions, go for it. Uh, yeah, there is a Galaxy Chrome OS that's for i7 that costs $99. Wow, that is cheap, I've got to say. It's for i7 too as well. So you can definitely... Have you actually have you ever tried re-imaging, like reformatting these Chrome books and put Windows onto that? Uh, I like to know. Uh, it should be not... It's like a normal computer device, so you can probably just boot it up and just put it Windows. But I wonder how the keyboard would work. You know, that's what I really want to know about the Chrome. If you put... Windows on this, how the keyboard will react anyway, so that's kind of interesting, yeah. Uh, is there a pen with it? Not this one here. I don't think they come bundled with it. Uh, you do usually do have to buy, even with the Latitude 7410, the Windows version, you have to buy that separately, and that will be the exact same pen here. So if the PN 579X uh, or the 5570, uh, sorry, uh, 557W uh, will also work with this as well. It basically, as long as it's a tool one, you can pretty much use any pen really. You can even use a service pen on these. So it's great, it's just got pen support, which is there. Uh, but it is not integrated, uh, and I think it does have, uh, one of the slides must be, uh, let me have a try. I'll see if I, I might have a pen, no, I do have a pen. I got a pen, so this is from old Surface in a way, so I, th this pen's dead. Uh, so it's not actually working, but oh yeah, it's magnetic. So it's magnetic, still like magnetic, just like the previous uh, for the Sony 410. So it will be able to stick that on. So if you got a pen there, but yeah, it's not a not one of those things I will be using. I'm I'm not a stylist person, anyway, but until I really do love the the garage pen. Uh, but I like to see Dell to make a garage pen would be fantastic for it if it could do that for sure. Anyway, so yes. Uh, but yeah, it's very nice uh, look to it. Very good premium feel, very good premium feel. But I think this is a might be a bit over budget for some people trying to run Chrome OS off of it. So yes. Uh, tr I've tried putting Linux distro on an ARM Chromebook once, but it's hard on a 
um, for people driving in bars. I, I think that would be the same. I think this will be easier uh, for sure. But I have a feeling because I've been watching the ARM um, uh, discussion before when Mac went um, ARM uh, with the M1 chip. Because there was a lot, it was a really nice YouTube video about these guys who were uh, who were running Linux uh, and Unix. And they were talking about a discussion about ARM and it's been in servers for a bit of time. Now, it was of course very expensive because ARM wasn't really produced that massively. But now that the whole market's starting to move to ARM, they will, because of the market moving to ARM, and especially with Mac moving to ARM, uh, we will hopefully see more driver support from Linux uh, or Unix or whatever distros you like to use. Uh, we'll hopefully get more because there will be people running Macs who want to run uh, Unix or Linux as well. And we'll also start to see more Windows probably computers. Um, since Microsoft already started experimenting with the Surface Pro X, uh, that one I saw and that was great. The actual hardware was great. Just unfortunately, the Windows just did not have any app support. But with Mac going over to ARM, and I'm sure that software developers will hopefully move a bit more with ARM side of things. And I will probably see that alongside with Unix, uh, Linux as well too. So it'll be, uh, I think it's all about as manufacturers move over, they'll all of the software developers will start to mostly move over as well too. And that'll be good because that will work on your mobile phones uh, since it's just going to be ARM. So yeah, but yes, uh, it would definitely be great if we can get more ARM support. So, yeah, so what I do see next year is going to be a bit more, a bit good stories about what ARM, and that's what definitely for sure. Anyway, so yes, all right. Uh, so there is a Chromebook with 4K display that is a Galaxy. Chromebook. Yeah, I think I might have seen that and I was like pretty cool with that. Uh, and I think I saw the price one. Well, it's not bad. It's on the high end, but I was like, not bad. Still cheaper than this one here, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, when I remember it, and I was like, well, that's not bad because I did have a quick play over here at JB Hi Fi. I was like, wow. Uh, X64 emulation on Windows ARM is pretty good, I've heard. I've actually not tried it, um, but that would be definitely cool if we um, have. Yeah, if it is, does very well, and I can see that uh, even seeing the just the performance benchmarks from how Risotto, sorry, Risotto, Rosetta um, is working for Mac, uh, I would love to see how that's going to go into with Windows as well too. So I really should fire one up and actually just load up the emulation for that as well for a Windows computer and just have a little quick play with it. Yeah, so that's probably something I'll do next year. Uh, just not too much on at the moment, and yeah, all the gatherings and things to do uh, for the Christmas break. I don't think I've got time to do it for the, before this end of this year anyway, so yeah. But yeah, uh, 4K Quad LED, yeah, that would be definitely nice for sure. <laughs> that is for sure. Have I missed any uh, other, other people's? No, no, definitely. Uh, but yes, uh, where are you guys from? I know I was from India. I know, I remember Vasi is also from India as well. Uh, Mr. Do, 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 uh, do Dojo, uh, where are you from as well? I love to hear where you're from. Uh, waiting for the tons of Windows ARM laptops in 2021. Yes, I am waiting because I would like to see, for, uh, my guess would be Asus would jump on the bag wagon first because they always seem to like leap ahead a little bit in terms of being very out there uh, is one of the people I would like to, uh, I think that will go ARM uh, or start to experiment ARM as well. And of course Samsung, uh, but I really have not played with the Samsung laptop as per se. Um, now Huawei has really moved over to a few computers there, but unfortunately I don't get them much in Australia. Uh, so, uh, g'day Tommy, you're from Ohio, wow, how cool is that? Uh, I don't know sure what time it is in there, but I do try and make this work between the different countries. Uh, so I, I know it's a bit late for, for myself and uh, I think India is uh, India is around about 11 by now. Actually, what time is it now? Yeah, about 11.30 or somewhere. So uh, I think you guys might be two, two hours behind. Uh, or hey, or wh how, what time is it there for you, Tommy? 
We are from the Netherlands. Wow. Wow. To Netherlands. Hello, Netherlands. How are you guys going? Hopefully COVID hasn't really hit you two guys too hard there. Uh, and what time, is, what time is it over there? Netherlands as well. I've never been to there, but uh, I remember the soccer team was doing very well because when the World Cup soccer, I somehow in my sweep, I managed to get Netherlands and it surprised me one year when I actually won the actual, and I was like, wow, cool. How cool is that? Uh, so that was a nice little random pick anyway. So yes. Uh, but yes, uh, but yes. Uh, going back to arm. So the uh, the other one is at nine thirty eight. Is that a.m. or p.m.? That, that is. Um, with the other art place that I might see. Ooh, I don't know if Dale will go f the there. Uh, I think Lenovo a little bit would probably go with arm. Uh, maybe next year. That's my guess. But uh, but yeah, I like to see. Whatever brands come through, I know there's still Toshiba. I don't have touched much Toshiba's unfortunately. Now MSI, uh, I've only just started playing with some of the MSI, and they they might go AM. Whoa, that is okay. That might be the day after or the day before. So I can't remember for there. Is that a MacBook? Uh, this is not a MacBook. This is a Chromebook actually. This is the Latitude 7410. Uh, and I think I've just, sorry if you just joined me here, uh, 7410, and this is a Chromebook actually. So this is, uh, I've done a, a 7410, this is a tool one as well too, so you can actually flip it and it has pen support as well. Uh, but it's pretty much the same as the Latitude 7410 in my review, but this runs off Chromebook and has a very bit of a different uh, keyboard uh, there. I won't go through it, but it's got a fair bit of different keyboard there for you to see. Uh, but yes, uh, 15, yeah, 3.30, oh, that's a bit of a time difference for me. Uh, that's about close to, in Netherlands, that's nearly, yeah, that's close to about nearly 10 hours difference there, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, MacBooks will be good. I think I might look at getting the new MacBook Pro. I've been holding it off because I'm like, uh, should I get one or should I not? Uh, but I think I may uh, try and get one so I can do future reviews because that will be very interesting for docs especially. Uh, as you can see, I'm starting to experiment with some of the, um, the, uh, the new monitors that have hubs in it. Now, I've got another one here, which is, oh, I've got to do. Uh, this is another one I've got to do in my, in my holidays as well. Is I'm going to have a play with this Belkin dock as well. Uh, it's a Thunderbolt 3 dock, um, so well, hopefully it will have, um, it's got two Thunderbolts on the back here. So, and I've got, only got one display port and I'm hoping I'll be able to do, do dual or triple monitor support on this one here. So something I've got to try and do later on in this video. Not this video, but um, later on anyway. So that's something I've got to try and do. Uh, I've got another doc as well. So I've got another doc review I'll be putting out very soon as well. What's your daily driver laptop? That's interesting. I've only just switched uh, from that. I was running a, Latitude 5401, and now I am now running, uh, what is this one here? Oh, it's uh, the XPS 15, so I'm playing with this at the moment. So this is my daily driver for the next year or so, I think, uh, because it's got the GeForce uh, 1650 in there, and that will help me do a bit of rendering for the videos. Uh, that's pretty much, I just need the CUDA cords in there. That's for a reason why. I was thinking about getting the precision, uh, but I just want speed rise is probably what I need at the moment because uh, that's what I'm currently uh, daily driving. My desktop computer does most of the work. Uh, my laptop is really just for work and it's just when I'm running around as well too and just doing the testing as well too. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Sorry, I'm sweating. It's, it is quite still hot as there. Uh, let's have a look. Greetings from Hungary. Wow, Hungary, that's cool. Happy holidays to you as well. Uh, just nice festive season as well. That's a nice spec. Yeah, this one's not too bad. This one's not an i uh, not i9. This is just an i7 version, but it has about 32 gigs of RAM because that's kind of how much I need for uh, the video editing. I don't think I've been launching my project files in there. Don't really hit more than 32 gigs, anyway. Uh, but I'm getting starting to get more than that, and I'll upgrade to 64 gigs. That's the same for a desktop computer. My desktop computer does most of the work. Uh, it is running this stream here as well, uh, but and I've only just started upgrading. I'm at the moment trying to work on a graphics card and I've been doing some research, but at the moment, a lot of graphics cards are out of stock. Uh, so it's kind of sad there, uh, but yeah, we'll get there. Uh, and we're also waiting for what N NVIDIA will actually will bring out 
maybe the 70, sorry, uh, 30, 70 Ti, hopefully, or something, but um, I will try and maybe look at even the 30 70s for myself anyway. Uh, that's kind of what I need as well. Uh, do a video editing test on the XPS 15 in your XPS. Yeah, sure, I can do that, no reason, because I'll, I'll run the benchmarks for it, which is the Pojun one, which I've been running between the different um, computers. I haven't really released those ones. I'm just, I'll start to add a few more benchmarks uh, as I get I get requests, uh, even for my own work, people I start finding my channel and I'm actually starting to get requests on different benchmarks. So you can probably see one of the new ones in there, which is MATLAB. Um, so I'm just going to start adding more benchmarks that would be useful. Um, I'm going to stay away from gaming because there are plenty of other channels that do gaming, you know, and, and gaming is not really my thing and I don't really know how to really benchmark. So I've got a friends who do that and they explain it, it just comes in one year and it comes out the other year anyway. Uh, and I'm all still more interested in the professional side of things, so I will do try and uh, get development. I might look into one for programming. Um, that's another one that's been asked about me. So I might look into another programming, adding that to next year's one. And I've got to try and work out how to do the graph system because I've never really done very good at graphs anyway. So I'm going to try and see if I can get some comparison graphs going for you for next year as well too. Uh, let's have a look. Have you been keeping up with Windows 10? News. Not really. I know they were on Windows 10 20 H2. I don't know what the H2 means. It's now confusing me. Uh, I've started upgrading some of these computers to H2 uh, as I'm doing the benchmarks, uh, but I haven't really been keeping up with what's new in there. Uh, I've got too much coming on at the moment, so uh, at the moment, like different news of what's coming out and things like that. So I haven't really been. I really need to actually have a look on what Windows 10 has to offer now these days and all of the H2. Uh, I don't know what the next one's going to be, but if you know what H2 stands for, probably save me from Googling what that really stands for. But before it was uh, the year, which is uh, at the moment it's on 20, of course, and then it came to which month was that release. So if it was 09 or 03, so 03 would be March, 09 would be September release anyway. So, but now with H2, I don't know, they're trying to use hexacode or something. I have absolutely no idea what they're trying to do, uh, Microsoft there anyway. So, yeah. Uh, do you, uh, do man, uh, sorry, do laptop RAM upgrades too? Uh, I will, well, I actually just did an upgrade for that C, the Lenovo C340. And in my review video, I said it was only able to do 16 gigs of RAM. Now, my friend who actually owns that laptop managed to put, well, got me to actually do the RAM upgrade for it to about 32 gigs. Uh, so I've now just put it into the new description and give you guys what it is. Um, so I do try and do some upgrades and I do open up and now that I've got a nice toolkit there, yeah, it really helps a lot, a lot helping having the right toolkit for sure uh, for that anyway. Uh, what your take on the Galaxy Z Fold 2? I haven't played, I, I don't know much about the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Uh, that's the, um, is that the one with the side fold or that's the one with the clamshell fold? Uh, I can't remember which one's which. I'm um, sorry, mobile, mobile market, I have only really quickly had a look at it when I was looking at it, uh, when I was ser like searching for my own lap, uh, mobile. I really don't keep up with the mobiles uh, market myself. I'm sorry, but that is just something that is a lot to keep up with. Uh, and I don't really touch computers really on my off times. Or, well, now I have to because of the channel, but I don't really do much of keeping up with our things anyway. So, but um, I do try and deal a little bit and try and keep myself up but yeah I don't really it's so much news that comes into my inbox that I just have to like flick past it uh, and now I'm starting to get so much so I'm sorry to you guys as much as I can do but I'm just getting a lot of more comments on the videos as they come through uh, and now I've just decided I'm just going to allocate that for 15 questions or comments on my videos in all my videos I just answered about 15 then and I'm done for the day because it's just too many. I would, I would be sitting there all the time answering all of these uh, things and I won't be able to get any video editing or filming done. So now that's kind of my routine now. So you guys, anyway, sorry. Uh, but unfortunately, it just has to, I have to dedicate time to different parts anyway. So time management is kind of what I'm doing now these days anyway. So yeah, uh, H2 is like half to, half to I, I see. I don't know. The second half, yeah, second half of the year. Oh, I guess it's probably one. They do, yeah, that's true. They do a nine, they usually come at sec second or third. Uh, fourth I've seen, yeah, so um, yeah, February, 
March and April, yeah, they're the ones I'd normally see. And then, oh yeah, I'd see September's and October releases for Microsoft Windows updates. So yeah, that's about right. But yeah, first half and second half, I guess that's probably easier. They only need to do two really. It makes it easier because most businesses are really don't or don't really want to make massive jumps in a way. So it's too much work because there's a lot of downtime for each first because I think each time you do a major update, it's around about 30 minutes or so, which is a bit for some people because if you don't have computers rebooting at night times to do those, um, it takes a fair bit of a chunk of their time and time is money for businesses anyway. So yeah, um, let's have a look. H2 means 22nd half and first half. Uh, the first two digits stands for the year. Yep, I know that. H2 stands for second half of that year. Okay, cool. Uh, so the new Windows 10 21 H1 tapping means, yep, okay. So basically they're just going to do the, what most businesses do. First half, second half, and that's it. Trying to keep it to those two points. The Z flip means the clamshell and Z fold. Okay, so that's one. I've seen that one there. I have a friend who uses that a lot and I've seen it. She loves it. Uh, and I enjoyed looking at it for sure. Uh, and the clam, uh, and the Z fold is a single fold along the street like a book. Yes, I've seen that one there. I haven't really seen much. Like, I don't have any friends who bought that one. I've seen it at the shopping center. I was like, well, that's pretty sweet, but I think it's out there on my price range. So I think it was close to like, oh, very close to in here in Australia, nearly about three grand. I was like, oh, that's a bit crazy expensive for a phone. That's about more than a laptop or so. Anyway, so yes, thanks for the live stream. I'm going to play some Survivor. Thanks for joining me, Mr. Dejo. Hopefully, uh, and Merry Christmas to you, and have a safe one as well too. Enjoy your Cyberpunk. I haven't actually installed, I haven't bought the game. I don't think I've even got time to play the game. I'm going to just watch my friends play it. It's much easier than I'm playing it anyway. But enjoy your time anyway. So, yes, and happy holidays to you. Uh, awesome. Cool. I think I might have got that one there. Yeah, yeah. so definitely it's a, one of those great sort of things. So, um, but yeah, for phone-wise, I think now because... I think the other one that I'm really interested to see is the rollable phones. Uh, if that comes out, uh, I'll be hearing some news on like the podcast about maybe LG might be doing it or some of that. Uh, well, they might do it as they do that weird T-shaped one as well too. But it'll be a rollable phone that might actually expand. That looks really cool. Uh, I think that may because I I've seen the the foldable ones, and I'm, I'm not really that fan because they're actually quite thick after they fold in a way. Uh, but this rollable one, uh, sorry, this well, rollable expandable one looks a bit better. I don't think it's actually made it thicker at all. So I've seen some screenshots of it and some just muck, uh, mock videos of it, and I think that's going to be pretty cool uh, for sure. Uh, Z Fold 2 sold really quick at 4 million units and Seems to be really nice things to people. Uh, buying two grand Samsung phones, like, hell yeah. I know there are some people who just have plenty of money. Uh, but yeah, definitely. I think the, for me, uh, I just don't like how large it is. But I don't know about the version 2 anyway. So is, they make it thinner by a lot more. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, if they did make it a lot smaller, that'd be cool. But yes. Anyway, um, I hope you guys are doing well. Because I might just sort of chill off. Um, it's about to hit that 1 p.m. now and I think I've been streaming for nearly, well, maybe about nearly an hour, not there, but uh, I don't really take a lot of your time because I really just want to get through to this one here and just to say happy Christmas to you guys and uh, happy new year because uh, I, I might do another stream uh, just before New Year's, uh, but I'll probably just be, spit, you'll see me spitting out a few little small videos because those are very easy edits. Uh, I think I might leave uh, the bigger ones uh, for the laptop reviews uh, that takes me a bit of time in a way because I'm so busy lately for if, um, just other things to do in a way as well too. So yeah, um, let's say, yep, the first version was a hard hit and the second version was also a hit. Oh, yep, that's good to hear uh, for sure in a way. But yes, uh, mobile phones is something I'll be looking at probably uh, in my off time as well too. Um, but yes, all right, as always, Guys, enjoy yourself and keep safe and Merry Christmas to you guys all. Uh, if you don't celebrate, seasonal greetings to you guys as well too. As always, remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you guys in the next video, guys.